Hi there. I'm Dan Bernardo and this is Jonathan Martin and we're with Rose Costumes. Today we're going to be showing you how to put on our Pumbaa costume from The Lion King. First things first, make sure your actor is in the trousers we supply for the costume as well as the boot covers for the feet. Be sure you can put those on first and pull them up as you set on your jazz shoes or dancing shoes or you can just slip on the shoes and close it around as needed. Um, if you could please just give a kick up so we can see them. You can see these that will go on and make sure the pants are tucked inside. Next thing, depending on the size of your actor, you probably will need a belly stuffer. We have a few, just something that will help fill out and stay under the costume. Make sure it's attached securely. The rest of the clothing will hold it in place. Once you have all that in place, we have a shirt to go on. Dive right in there. It's got an elastic at the bottom here to help wrap around the belly stuffer and hold it in place so you can look nice and plump. So those closures here. Now, once you get this on, there's a second panel to give the warthog that bristly back. We have a section here. Be sure to use the snaps that are shown here and line them up with the other snaps here on the back of the shirt. Then we've had two more here and here. There we are. After that, we have his tail. We have a pin for it, and you can just aim it as you need to clip on. And there's also a buttonhole right here. If the actor is shorter and you need a shorter tail, you can always pin it. But I think for Jonathan's case, we can use the basic. There's a button right there. Slips onto the buttonhole. You can see the warthog tail there. After that, we have a collar to go on. Pretty simple construction, just snaps at the back corner here. That'll cover any seams for your makeup job, as well as helping disguise away any strapping you might have for the fat suit. There we are. And then a pair of black hoof-like gloves for the hands. Be sure with this one to uh, have the uh, yeah, shirt close over. There we go. There we go. And now the look's almost complete. The last thing we need to do is the headpiece. Now first things first, have your actor pull their hair back into a wig cap or ponytail if the hair is long enough, but for Jonathan's case all we have to do is be a little bit careful. Now as for all of our headpieces with the Lion King, the vast majority of them, come in two pieces here. A cloth cap that fixes onto the head, then the animal totem piece. This one here is a pretty straightforward design. You want to get it lined up with the forehead and pull back over the head. Make sure all the Velcro is undone and everything is loosened. Right about there. Good. There's also a chin strap right here. Want to get that nice and secure. And then we have two Velcro prongs here. I like to tie and Velcro at the back of the skull. Nice and secure. From there, we 
we have our Pumba headpiece. You can see one piece right here. Center that up as close as you can with the uh, forehead, and then a piece on top. They correspond to the two pieces here and here. Set it on the top and bring it forward, and give a nice push from the center down. Not too hard, just secure enough to hold in place. There you have it. Let's take a look. And the illusion's complete. Once again, I'm Dan Bernardo, and this is Jonathan Martin. Thank you for watching our video. Okay. Do you ever just want to, like, take these tail and just, like... You know what I mean?